the life of a model engineer is you always end up doing other stuff. This is a uh, directing ball that comes out of a, a vent. I mean, this is a redundant one. That's why it's so discoloured. Uh, out of my pool. Now, there are times when I don't want them to be venting. Um, and this is one of them. But I want what I want to do is replace this ball with a solid ball or half a ball or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to make one out of alum aluminium. But I thought it would be a great opportunity to demonstrate a uh, ball turning attachment, which goes in the lathe. Uh, I will demonstrate how it works and how to use it now. Well, I must say, I can't remember where I got it from. I've had it a number of years, uh, but Yes, it's a very useful tool. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. Just measure the ball that I want. And it's just under 40 mil, but that's no use to us in this machine. 1.564. We are. 1.623, so there's not much to come off the diameter. So I'm just going to take a couple of skins partially to make it round. Right, so that's that bit done. The next stage is to swap to the turning tool. Now I do need that to be squared up for this. I'm just going to put a centre in the front to give me my tool height. Yeah, it's already right because it's on the quick change post anyway. But the next thing is to roughly set the radius. I don't know if you can see, but I have in the past, it didn't come with any numbers there. Uh, so I put in some numbers to give a rough idea of the radius. Uh, but there is something else we can do for that anyway. Let me find a Allen key that fits. Now that is in metric, so, so I measured it at 40 mil ish, it's just under, but we can't be that accurate with this. 
So I'm going to aim for the 20 mil mark for the radius. Just nip it up. Now what I'm hoping to achieve is I touch it this side hopefully by the time I spin it round to the other side it should be touching but you can't see but it's a little bit off the job it's about half the difference ish and then slide the tool until it touches Spin it round. Do the same again, just half the difference. That's become awkward. Put it on the other side where I can. Get at it easier. Now, hopefully, that's just touching. That's pretty much touching. So, I'm not doing a full ball on this, I'm just doing a partial ball. But, what I'm going to do is go to about the center there, and then pull out, and I'll just keep winding this in and out to get to and now you see why I backed in the other side of it probably needed to take more of this off I'll take some more of this away and then I'll be back so the wonders of editing we're at this stage so quite simply we As you can see, oh, with each pass, we start to make it more and more more like.
Now for this last cut, as you saw, I went in from the middle and took the cut outwards. So I didn't go too far. And dig into the material too much. Obviously, if I was doing a complete ball, I'd be coming down to a, a front. But that should be the trick. Uh, I can find the holder. There we go. Just to part it off, and job done. There we go. You may have seen it went a little bit wrong in the middle there. It snagged. But for what we're doing, that doesn't really matter. And I'm also going to just put it in the lathe. You probably can't see from there actually. But I'm just going to take off the little bit that's left in the middle. drop nicely into there and block up my jet while I don't want any water coming out. I could have left it longer as a sort of turned it with a straight nozzle coming off of there then it wouldn't then there's no chance of it turning but for what I'm doing that will be enough. So, thanks for watching. Well, I say thanks for watching. What I actually mean, is, I, I mean, I do mean thanks for watching, but I'm just about to go and have a search and see if I can find that tool on one of the supplier's sites. I can't remember where it came from. I can't remember if it was Kronos or RDG or where. I'm gonna have a look and I'm gonna post a link in the description. But I will tell you first. So it's fair to say that I haven't got a clue where it, where it came from. It was years ago. Um, probably 10 years ago I've had it. Uh, but I've had a little look around, done a little Google search. And there's one option here which is similar. Looks pretty rigid, probably more solid. But it only goes up to 38 millimeter diameter. And then there's this one, which is better, uh, more, not better, more similar to the one I've got, which goes up to the bigger diameter. And there's this one as well, which also goes to the bigger diameter. Um, but just ideas, they're on eBay. Uh, I will put some links in the description to the three of them. Uh, if you're interested, just go and check them out. Um, but that's what I've found. If you find anything else, let us know. But thanks for watching. I hope it's been a little bit interesting, a little bit useful. Uh, and I'll see you soon when I carry on with one of the other things I've got going on in the background. So, see you soon.